welcome to a Little Box of Crochet tutorial video. Today we're going to be looking at waistcoat stitch. It's a stitch featured in our current box, which is beautiful Foxy Gareth um, by Anna Nikipirovich, and it creates a very different texture to what we're used to seeing in crochet. It almost looks like knitting, doesn't it? It's very easy to do and it's um, nice to try if you fancy a little different texture on your crochet projects. Let's see how it's done. Okay, so I am using um, just a, a th much thicker yarn and obviously a different colour here just because it's easier for you to see on the video. Sorry about my plaster, I've got an owie, but crochet must prevail. Right, so you can see um, I'm working this piece in the round. This stitch will always be worked in the round because it doesn't work, obviously, if you're going backwards and forwards you get a reverse side and that, that isn't going to work to give you the continuous look of this stitch so it's worked in the round um, and as you can see as I'm going up you can see the kind of sort of knit like rows happening it's very easy to do normally when we make a crochet stitch of any sort the hook will begin by going under the V of the stitch like that but with waistcoat stitch it's going to go between the front of the V. So if you say that is one side of the V, that is the other side of the V, your hook is going to go in between them in there. So my first tip, and it's very important, is don't make these stitches too tight because it makes it very difficult to work them. M my second tip, which I also work, I, I seem to use this every time I make this stitch, is it can be quite tricky to, to kind of get your hook in like that, actually that was really straightforward, wasn't it? But it can be tricky to, to get the hook in through um, that V, depending on the yarn you're using, or again, if you've worked a little bit tight. So here's a good tip. You can see the actual hook of the hook. Um, go face down and just use it to gently separate the V and then push your, the, the head of the hook through. That makes it much easier. So once the hook is through, you can see it's between the Vs of the stitch on the front, you're going to just go ahead and make um, like a double crochet in the normal way. That's a single crochet for our US followers. Um, so you just pull through a loop, pick up the yarn and finish the stitch like that. So it ends up um, just looking like a, a little V carrying on up the line. So I'm going to do a couple more and just let you know about things like increasing and decreasing. So here I go again to go into that V. Um, increasing and decreasing work in exactly the same way as if you were just working any regular stitches. That is to say if you need to increase you just work two into that V and if you were to decrease, let's do a, let's do a quick increase. So increasing I'm going to go into the front of the stitch. That's one. And I'm going back into the same place to increase. So again, like I said, it's very, it's absolutely the same as if you were doing a, a regular crochet stitch, just two into one. Decreasing, also the same as a regular stitch. So that is to say, we're gonna start our first stitch. So I'm going in there. But I'm not going to finish it, I'm going to keep two loops on the hook and then I am going to go into the next stitch. Did you see again I use that kind of digging technique with that hook. Pull a third loop onto the hook and then I'm going to pick up the yarn and go through all three and I have decreased a stitch there. Right, so let's change colour. Um, we're going to work on moving to working with pink. So I am going to work up to the stitch before I want to change colour. That's where I am now. I've made the first part of the stitch in green. And I'm going to bring in my pink and pick up that yarn. And bring it through those two hoop, hoops, no, two loops on the hook. It's all a little bit messy, but it will get there. And then I'm just going to continue working in the new colour. So I'm going to come along and work in pink. So it really works in exactly the same way as regular crochet stitches that you are familiar with. The only difference being where you put your hook. That is waistcoat stitch. <laughs> 